Good evening, welcome along. It's Friday night, live at Creed Competitions at Creed Studios. How are you? I hope you're all well. We've got five amazing draws up for grabs this evening. But as always, I need your help. The more people we have got tuned in, the absolute better. And all you have to do is share the post to your feed. That's all you have to do. And then that way, we can let loads of people know that we're now live and that loads of competitions could be getting won by big winners like you. And as always, if you do want to get faster notifications on new competitions going live on the website and on the app, the best way to do this is download the app now at the App Store and on Google Play. Just search Creed Competitions, turn that notification bell on and you'll get all that information as soon as new drives, new draws go live. All right, faster checkout, we've got perks, exclusive perks, discounts, and so much more. So go and check it out now. Or if you want to be the old-fashioned way, you can still do that at www.creedcompetitions.co.uk. Now, let's just crack it straight on and let's get the balls done. But who is all tuned in this evening? Let's have a little look and see who's in. James Wilson, Tony Boyle, good evening, and good evening to you all. I hope you didn't stand on the carpet for my tent. <laughs> Jamie, we've just texted Jed, because we came in, and oh, can we move the camera to show him this? Could No, actually, no, uh, no, we'll leave it there now. We will try and show you at the end. But there is a massive oil stain on it. And I wondered, because I thought somebody had been in my car. We both thought that. So, James, you might need to pop up. Because, I'm... oh, it's got a big oil stain on it. What more, more can I tell you? What more can I tell you? Sorry, buddy. Uh, anyway, good evening to you all. Good evening, good evening, good evening. I hope you are all well. So, these are the balls going in for the first competition. It is... 40 entries on the three grand. This is competition number six, which is up for grabs. All right, competition number six, 40 entries on that 3,000 pounds, which could be yours. We'll go from then, add another 100 balls in the machine for the map, makeup, or Clinique calendar, could be yours. A ninja kettle and toaster could be coming your way, or how about 250 pounds worth of toys, store vouchers from Smith's. We'll then finish things off with the Apple iPad bundle or £800 cash. These are the five amazing draws that we have got up this evening. So let's waste no more time. And let's find our first big winner of the evening. Our first winner winning 40 entries. 40 chances. I need to stop shouting, by the way. I, I really watched one of the draws the other night and realised that I'm really loud, eh? I wonder why people uh, probably stop tuning in. But winning 40 chances, 40 chances on that 3K. 3K, fuck, it goes a long way. £3,000 goes a long way. Competition number six. So without further ado, let's crack it on anyway. 40 entries will be won, but who will be that lucky winner? Well, they're about to find out. Stay where you are and good luck. <laughs> Lee Wagness, good evening. Lee Burns, hope you're well. Chantel Honeyman, I'm feeling great. Thank you very much. Uh, John Dougal, hi John. I hope you're well, John, I hope you're well. James is laughing. You'll know me when you see that oil stain. There's other wee white stains on it, but if it's your tent, then the carpet, then that makes sense. By the way, Javi, how big is your tent? I just thought about that. The floor space on that carpet is huge. How big is your tent? Holy moly. Uh, anyway, the first winner tonight, then winning 40 entries on that 3K is 9 and 4, 94. It's a big number. Davis. Sorry? Holly Davis. Holly Davis. Holly Davis back in for the win. Back in for the win. I don't know if they're still abroad. Who knows? Who knows? Holly, well done. 40 entries coming your way on that three grand cash. 40 entries. 40 more chances, Holly. 40 more chances of winning that 30, uh, that 3,000, about 30,000 pounds, that's a new game. Uh, that three grand, so you've got 40 more chances, Holly. Well done. We've now got two more balls going in, zero and one, giving 199 chances of winning the Mac Makeup or Clinique calendar. 
I remember growing up, I had uh, Clinique Happy aftershave. I don't know, I can remember it being quite good. I can't really remember it. Anyway, let's crack it on. Stay where you are, let's find our next winner. We're going to find that first number first. Because there is only two balls in the machine, what we've got to do is play that one first because sometimes it might take a second to get that, exactly. Now it worked this time, the first number is one. First number is one, which means the winner will have a number between 100 and 199. Between 100 and 199. Winning the Mac Makeup or Clinique Calendar is... Ooh! It's a one in 199 chance of happening. I love it when these ones happen. We need to do a special promo, Anthony. When little things like this happen, someone gets an extra little prize, like an extra 50 quid or something. But we're not doing that yet, but that's something to think about. It is though, the winner is one, 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 all about the ones. Lisa Skinner. Lisa Skinner, Lisa Skinner, well done. All about the ones. Well done, Lisa, winning Mac or Clinique calendar. You can let us know when you drop us a little message. Well done. Well done, well done. We're now moving on, we've got three more balls to put in now for the next two competitions. It is a Ninja Kettle and Toaster next and then 250 pound of Smith Toy Store vouchers. But before we crack on, ladies and gentlemen, before we crack on, remember there are loads of prizes live on the website and the app now. From a Shark vacuum cleaner at £1.25 a ticket. We've got kids Moto MX bike and helmet, only £1 an entry. Three grand cash will be going soon, that's going a week today. A week today if I'm right, and that is £2 an entry, £3,000 is up for grabs. We've got a wood burning stove or £1,200, which is £2 a ticket as well, that will be going soon. A PS5 or and FIFA 23 or £500 cash, £3 an entry, £50 of website credit, could be yours for a pound. Uh, Apple AirPods Pro or £150 cash, could be yours for a pound. A slow cooker, a karaoke machine, both going for £1, and then a Nintendo Switch OLED or £300 cash, going for £2 an entry. And as you know, as always, all of our competitions have low ticket numbers, giving you maximum odds, giving you the best chance of winning some amazing prizes. Let's crack it on and let's no longer talk more nonsense and find out who's winning the Ninja Kettle and Toaster set. Stay where you are and a massive good luck. Remember guys, if anybody wants a little shout out, let me know. Like Ben Orr, good evening Ben. Uh, Sarah Hamilton, how are you? Stacey Hart, how are you? Stuart Gordon, Stuart Gordon, how are you Stuart? Hope you're well. If no one knows who Stuart Gordon is, then you need to get yourself up to St Andrews and get yourself into the Keys. The Keys Bar in St Andrews is a bar owned by Stuart, but Stuart is also my work colleague who works along with Pilgrims and Reapers as well as Olsen Wholesale. So the first number is two. First number is two, which means the winner's going to have a number between 200 and 299. Between 200 and 299. And I can tell you now, winning the Mac Kettle and Toaster set is... It's 279, 200 and 79. Nicole Haynes. Nicole Haynes. Haynes. Nicole Haynes, well done. You've won the Ninja Toaster and Kettle set. Well done winning with 279 Ninja. By the way, can I just say right now, Ninja products, chef's kiss. They are absolutely tremendous products. Cheaper than using your cooker. And let's be honest, in this day and age, we need everything to be able to help us, especially with the energy crisis at the moment as well. So well done, Nicole Haynes, well done, winning 279, 279, a Ninja Kettle and Toaster is coming your way. Uh, Darren McIntosh, how are you? 
Uh, who else we got tuned in? James Wilson says it's a massive 7.5 meter by 5 meter, bigger than a van. <laughs> that's actually huge. That's a tent. Uh, Colin Five, good evening. Dylan MacArthur, I hope you're well. Uh, is the three grand draw next week? It is. The three grand draw is next Friday. Uh, Anne Lang, how are you, Anne? I hope you're well. Gareth Jones, is that the right Anne Lang? Bodybuilder Anne Lang, if it is bodybuilder Anne Lang. Hi, not spoke to you in a while. Uh, Gareth Jones, Flora Mackey, Rab McGuffery, how are you? James Bryson's just popped in. Hi, James, hope you're well. Monty Apple and Rosemary Watson, good evening to you all. If you've just tuned in, we're moving on to the fourth draw. We've got five draws this evening. We're on the fourth draw. This one is for £250 of Smith Toy Store vouchers. Let's find that next winner. Stay where you are and a massive good luck. First number is one, which means the winner's going to have the number between 100 and 199. 100 and 199. Let's see who our lucky winner is. The lucky winner of the Smith's 250 pound toy vouchers, toy store vouchers, is, it's 146. Jade O'Grady. Jade O'Grady. We love your name, Jade O'Grady. Jade is a previous winner. Just, I'll just love it. Jade O'Grady. <laughs> oh, she's going to punch me in the throat if she ever meets me. Uh, Jade O'Grady, well done. £250 of Smith's Toy Store vouchers. 146 Jade, a massive well done. And a massive well done to all of our winners this evening. Please do me a favour, head over to our Facebook page, drop us a message, and we'll get the prize organised for you ASAP. We're now moving on to the last draw of the evening, and as you know, it's the Apple iPad bundle, or £800 cash. Which will you choose? The winner will be telling us very momentarily. Very momentarily, because we will be phoning that winner. But remember, we have got loads of prizes going live on the website tonight. A Shark vacuum cleaner, the kids' Moto MX bike and helmet, three grand cash, a wood burning stove or £1,200 cash, PS5 eh, with FIFA 23 or £500 cash, £50 of website credit, the Apple AirPods Pro or £150 cash, a slow cooker, a karaoke machine and a Nintendo Switch, OLED or £300 cash are all now live on the website. Lots of new prizes are coming up tonight as well, so keep an eye on that. But not to worry, if you've got the app, hit that notification bell. You will be notified first of the new prizes going live. And remember, if you've downloaded the app, you get faster checkout, you get uh, exclusive perks and discounts and so much more. So head over to the App Store and Google Play. App Store and Google Play will get you that app. Rapido! Anyway... I normally like to do something at the beginning of the night and have a chat about what's going on in the world, but, and I normally never get political, I n I'm not normally one to get political, but what the f is going on with our government? Are you seriously taking the pass? I know that I bleeped out my own swear word and then didn't bleep out that one, piss is fine. Uh, <laughs> right, maybe not. Uh, but they, they've got to be taking the mickey now, surely. I'm not being funny, Liz Truss is like, right, I buggered it up. I've been here six weeks. I buggered it up. I'm going to hand him a resignation. Fair enough. She put her hands up. Let's get someone in that can maybe do the job a wee bit better. Fair enough. Right? But you all had faith in her in the beginning, or she wouldn't have got all the votes to become the PM. Okay? That's number one. Number two, you all want to make sure she doesn't get this 115 grand that apparently every uh, Prime, Minister. Prime Minister gets annually after they become Prime Minister. Are you lot taking the absolute mickey? Are the MPs taking the mints out of all the British public? We pay our taxes and stuff because, do you know what I mean? We want to keep Great Britain going. We want to keep it going. Do you know what I mean? We pay these things for things to be done. Boris Johnson's actually pulled back on Don't, don't, get, don't get me started on Bojo. Do not get me started on, but seriously, like, I'm not being funny, right, okay, they get 115 grand. Why don't we just give them enough money that'll do them like a pension? Right? Just you retire now. 
That's all you need for a pension. Get the money out of your house. Job done. We've got a homeless. We are struggling to pay our electricity. There's people out there who can't feed themselves because they'd rather keep the heating on for their kids or have to turn the heating off to feed themselves. I think our country at the minute is a laughing stock. We are a complete and utter joke to everybody in the world because we let these clowns run our government. Now, I'm not saying that, like, that party's better than that party because they've all got their own agenda. They've all got their own particular agenda, and that's why Ian Leslie's never running for Prime Minister this year. I'm joining the concept. No, no, I would rather punch myself profusely in the face. But now Bojo wants to try and get 100 votes to become PM again. It's, it's a game for the Tories. It's a big game. They're doing nothing to help the British public, and we're, we're a laughing stock. So how do you guys feel? Are you from Peterborough? Apparently one of the people from Peterborough. I was, I was ready to kick off. I was ready to kick off. And I'm going to be, do you know something? This is what we should do once a week. Just do Ian kicks off about what's going on in the world. Just kick off about certain things that we need to have a bit more common sense about. Like, let's not have the Tories run the country. That's something to have common sense about. Uh, or what's the other things I know that drive? Loads of stuff drives me mental. Common sense is not in a, a lot of people's minds. And a lot of people think, well, no, I'm doing the right thing. Well, no, common sense says otherwise. You know what I mean? I'm just, I give up. I give up. If anybody wants, I know we're going to do this competition tonight. If anybody agrees with me, go and do me a favour. Hit that, smash that like button right now. I want to see if there's loads of people that agree with me. Uh, just, I wanted, there may be not. Uh, first bit of sense I've heard come out of you, Ian. That's a bit harsh. Uh, agreed, says Gareth Jones. Uh, some people uh, hitting that smash button. Good evening, good luck from uh, Lisa Kilpatrick. Hi, Carmen, hope you're well. Well done, Gareth is telling people. Holly Davis is now tuned in because she's always winning something, the wee weasel. Uh, Ian having a good old rant tonight. Uh, I'm getting a few claps there. I'm going to do this weekly. Ian, what are we going to call it? Ian kicks off. Shall we do it at the beginning of every live draw? Ian kicks off. We'll find something to kick off about. So at the minute, I'm kicking off about Bojo thinking he's going to be PM again and to just walk about and be an absolute rat. Because that was... Did you gain something? I don't care if all these people have got great personalities and they're doing amazing things in their own personal life. They're seriously messing up the country massively and people who have made money and are at the top and doing all whatever they're doing... I, I didn't see them trying to help, like the big corporations that are in the UK. What are they doing to try and help get the, the UK back on its feet? We have got, we are going to be heading into one of the greatest recessions that, even bigger than the Great Recession, this one's going to be the greater recession. And you know what I mean? And, but I'm really, I'm, I, what scares me is how many people are going to really suffer this winter because of what's going on. Okay. Now, What's that? The pound. The pound has crashed. Pound's crashed. This is the weakest the pound has ever been, I think. I don't, well, apparently on record, so what I've heard about, you know what I mean, I, I don't look too much into it. All I know is that I have no trust in the, the Tories. And if you have got trust in the Tories, then you need to go up to a mirror, just have a quick little look at yourself, fucking slap yourself. Scott, have I told you about my rum, Reaper's rum? <laughs> Great rum, Madagascan vanilla, made with two different coffee beans and Carolina Reaper chili. It's good rum. It's good rum. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Scott. He, he brought me, he brought me, but he brought it back in. He brought it back in. Debbie White, G Debbie Simpson, sorry, David White. Good evening, uh, Veronica McNeil. Good evening to you all. We're on the last drop this evening. It's the Apple iPad bundle or eight hundred pounds cash. Without me having a rant, let's crack on and let's find our next winner. Stay where you are and a massive good luck and buy Liz Trust. <laughs> anyway, go. Let's find a runner now. Boom. A rum bundle would be amazing. I do need to have a little chat with my lovely El Capitan, the boss. Big shout out to Scott. He said you mentioned it once or twice. 
Uh, Pauline Hamilton, Babs McKay, good evening to you all. Now, let's crack on. Winning the £800 cash or the Apple iPad bundle is 724. It's not an allocate number. It's not a winner. Guys, as you well know, we are a regardless site, which means we will draw every one of our competitions as soon as the timer runs out, regardless of ticket sales. This is one of those tickets that was not sold, which means you're all still in it to win it. So stay where you are, because we'll spin it until you win it. Good luck. Let's try again. Jordan Sinclair, good evening. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. It's a high number again. It is a high number again. It's seven, four, five. Seven, four, five. Not allocated as well. Oh, we could be here for a while. Although it did sell, it's almost sold out. So that just shows you, by the way, non-allocated number seven, four, five, and non yeah, seven, four, five. Not allocated. Let's find that winner. Come on, come on. Somebody wants to win the Apple iPad bundle in time for Christmas, or eight hundred pounds cash in time for Christmas. Wow, it's a low number this time. <clears throat> Two ends of the spectrum here. It was really high. Now it's really low. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, it's 082. It's number 82. <coughs> Excuse me. 82 is Brian Clark. Brian Clark. Let's give Brian a call. Let's give Brian a call. Let's give him a little shout. Good evening, Jordan. Good evening. Uh, big shout out to everybody who tuned in as well. I'm not going to be able to see your comments now, but thank you very much for listening to me rant. There for a second, I do love a good run. I do love a good run. And I think that's what we'll do at the start of every one of the live draws. From now on, we're going to have Ian's common sense section. All right? And common sense on what I've just ranted about is let's vote a party in who actually want to help the country. Because unless I see otherwise from our existing government, then... I'm going to happily vote elsewhere. And you know something though, our votes need to count. You have to get your vote in because if you don't vote, then that's just a nightmare. So vote, takes you 10 minutes of your day, vote. Do you get something? I was all about keeping- Welcome to Like A Mobile. I don't know what Like A Mobile is. I was all about keeping the union together, the, the great British union together. But do you know something, after Brexit, after, and you and McGregor said a very similar thing, that after Brexit, seeing that the overwhel overwhelming majority of the Scottish people wanted to remain within Europe, and then because the English didn't, we had to stay. And that's no offence to the English or anybody that voted to stay, that is their choice. But as a country, it makes you wonder, makes you wonder, should we be independent and make our own choices? Or should we stick and keep the union together? I'm a big fan of keeping the union together. We've been one of the strongest, um, Great Britain, no matter which way we look at it, has been one of the strongest nations in the world for decades, years, millennia. And I, wanted, I want to keep that same way, but, do you know what I mean? It makes you, it makes you wonder, it makes you wonder. Let's try Brian again. Aye. Uh, it's the UK, UK's <coughs> own, Aye. like how Europe is Europe, but within Europe, the separate countries were Aye. And I do, I do understand the fact that we do have our own parliament, we do make a lot of our own choices. However, when it comes to mag it, the choices of magnitude, we don't. And it's, it's, it's scary. Let's leave him a message. Go on, Brian. Brian. When you have finished recording, Brian. you may hang up. 
I know, I couldn't hear you. Hi, hi, Brian, it's Ian from Creed Competition. Just to let you know you're a big winner this evening. Winning the Apple iPad bundle on £800 cash. Don't worry about giving us a little callback. You don't have to. All you have to do is drop us a message on our Facebook page and we'll get the prizes organised for you ASAP. Have a very great weekend and enjoy your prize. Please make sure you play again and we'll see you soon. Bye. So guys, that is it. That is our big winner this evening. I'm not going to rant anymore. I'll end up frying my whole brain. I could grab a seat and we could sit and just talk this out. You could give me your comments. You could show your face. Honestly. You could give me your comments. We'll do this next time. Tune in Wednesday. We'll have a rant and see what happens. Uh, loads of prizes live on the website and the app. Now, go and check them out. The Shark Vacuum Cleaner, the Kids Moto MX Bike and Helmet. £3,000 cash, the wood burning stove, the £1,200 cash, we've got, or £1,200 cash, sorry, PS5 and FIFA 23, or £500 cash, £50 of website credit, the Apple AirPods Pro, or £150 cash, the slow cooker, or karaoke machine, or Nintendo Switch OLED, or £300 cash, these are all live on the app now, so go and check it out, and guys, have a very pleasant weekend, and I'll see you on the next Drawdy.